going on guys we finally made it back got everything unloaded now it's time to do a little bit of unboxing um reason i got this because i'm still working on my trail i got a lot of branches and i got a lot of leaves back there so instead of me trying to haul everything up to the road i need something to get me there just a little bit faster Let's try to get this process done because springtime is going to be rolling around soon and these vines and bushes and everything going to be growing up rapidly and i just won't be able to keep up with it so right now I'm finna go ahead and get this thing done now before everything starts growing in. But this is the <clears throat> uh, look of the box from when you first buy it. The order number is 062323. So, you know, if you call in, you want to know about it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? If you want to know what they got in stock, that's the item, um, that's the number that you would want to give them when you call on it. I'm also giving y'all a review, uh, even extended review because a lot of people when they do reviews on these things they don't really just go into detail you just see them pull them out crank them up throw trees in them and voila but i'm trying to give y'all some in-depth uh reviews of this thing that way you'll know for sure if you really want to go buy this thing got my choppers it's time to cut these bands off and see what this pretty boy looks like on the end two one let's go come on baby what the frack? Oh my god. A fox. I got a good idea. We're gonna solve that problem. We're gonna make this quick. on the product that you just bought anything can go down but i'm gonna get that get this thing going The instruction manual right here we got the bag throw it in the bag then we got this so we also got uh, i guess that's a cardboard protector burn that later okay you got your wheel sit that down my cardboard won't need that this white bag out of all colors it's going to be on the ground i don't know why they chose white Overall, I mean, you could have went with a, any other color but this. And the minute you drop it on the ground, it's going to be a dirty bag. So you're going to have a nasty looking white bag. Which it don't really matter because you're a wood chipper. A wood chipper. So it don't really matter if the bag get dirty. But if you want to meet freaks, and you like everything out nice and clean, this ain't going to be the bag for you out there in the woods trying to chip that wood. But... We'll get to that later. Now, let's see what we got holding us up. Okay. Got this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, got all the handles and all the screws. So, uh, let me, i tell y'all what. Let me give y'all an overall view of this thing so you can see a better view. This is the better view. Okay. So, you got your chute right there. 
Shoot the do the do the do. Shoot the do. Hey, look. So, you see that little hole down there? So, that automatically lets you know that you're not going to put a lot of big branches down in there because they're not going to fit in that little hole. But you can throw some leaves down in there. You might have to shuffle them down in there. But the other good thing, this is a feeder, so it feeds. So, whatever you put in there, I mean, pretty sure to take it down. But, here's what a round of you look. That's your whole overall shroud of light, right? Look at that engine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. This little side panel right here. Voila. Open it up. Get all up in there. You don't want to get up in there when this thing is running. But um, I'm finna put this thing together, um, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, if y'all, I might do a, well, I ain't gonna might do. What I do, I just do a time lapse of me putting it together. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, before I get to the installation of starting this thing, I want to show you guys something. Because when you get this, you probably think that it's going to be something hard to do. But let me show y'all. Okay, so the bottom of this thing has this little rubber bushing right here and the handle. This is your brake and your lockdown. So uh, basically, let me try to find a way to do this real quick. Okay, so basically, um, once you got this tire on, you can press that down and it locks against the rim of this tire to keep it still. Um, I always make sure this up. You don't want that down. You want it up because you will never get your tire on. So make sure your tires, the little nip, make sure that's facing on the inside. So you want to get that on the inside. And then once you get that on there, you're going to have to really press it because it got to mold itself onto that brake. It got to mold itself onto that brake back there. You got to make an impression and push it. You got to push that back by put your muscle in it. And it'll pop through. And you have to do the same for the other side. So we're finna go ahead and get into the installation. Now I just want to show you guys that on the tires. Um, for those who might think that it don't fit, it actually does fit. So one of the other things, you will need a 10 millimeter socket um, and a 13 millimeter socket to put this thing together. So we'll take a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter, and you should be ready to go. Okay, guys, so I got the chipper shredder wheels on. Um, got them on. I also got the handle on in the back. I got it tilt back. It is okay for your engine to stay tilt back like this, but only while it's still in stock form. Once you got oil in this thing, you don't want to do this. So to make it easy on me, I went ahead and laid it back so I can go ahead and put the bottom brackets on. And then uh, we'll get into a video on shredding and a little stuff to show you guys how strong this is. Right, y'all. So I moved this out just a little bit so i got it fully assembled um what i did i put the bag on here so that bag on now on the little slot that i showed you previously pull that up slide your bag on top of that and there's a little notch on the bottom to put your bag on but i don't use the bag so i won't be using this bag today because everything i'm gonna shred is just gonna let it lay out on my trail but um that bag good for when you do want to make some motion put around your flower bed and everything but uh she is about ready to go. So, this is something I do want to tell y'all. Before you start this thing up, please don't go put no cheap gas in here. Um, the best gas you want to use in here is premium. I would use premium only, especially uh, if it's something that you're going to use and let sit down for a minute. I'm going to get ready to put the oil in. Um, you can use the oil of your choice, but I like to use this Honda um, oil. So, I mean, this is the kind that I like to use because... It's a real good grade and it comes from a real good company. So I know the deposits and it won't break down as fast because it is a little high dollar oil. But like I said, if you want something to last, you're going to pay the best for it because that's something that you take pride in. So this is what I take pride in. So I'm going to buy the best for it. And um, I hope you all do the same. But we're going to go ahead and put this in and then we're going to go ahead and put the premium in. And then we're going to get this bad boy fired up so we'll show you guys what it run like. Y'all make sure you don't overfill this motor. You don't want to overfill it. Check it out. Check it. If it look like it's just gooping out, then just go ahead and let a little bit pour out. But that look like it should be enough right there. It's up at the line. Y'all, this is my big baby, Mercy, right here. Mercy, come here, baby. Look at her. Big old baby. Mercy, what you doing, girl? You want to let it have a break in period before you start putting branches and stuff in. That way everything can get lubricated up. Got the 
tree top down so he got us a nice good little size branch that we're gonna put in here so we got mercy right here mercy you got to back up baby come on mercy come on come on baby she'll probably move once i crank it up but we're gonna get this thing started so here we go Yeah, it would make sense to go ahead and turn the idle up on it first and make sure the switch on. shape in the wood so I put a notch in it so I can get this thing back out of here because we don't want this clogged up inside the thing which is it did so yeah so the tree limb got jammed in here because it got a wash shape on it which got hung down here in the bottom down here so if you ever got one of these handy these are the best thing to use I literally bought this at the flea market for five dollars but if you can't pull this branch out of here and get tough stuff what you do you take this right here Stick it in there onto the wood, let the back end rest up on this, and just lift up, and it will slowly bring the branch out. So this is a good tool for hung up branches that's inside of this thing. Like you say, you put it in, slide it right out. Stop, but. All right, guys, so there you have it. Wood chips on the ground. Nice little wood chips. You know, another thing I was thinking about, you can go get you some hickory wood chips or some apple wood chip branches. And, uh, you know, that'll save you a lot of time right there from having to go buy some at the Home Depot. You make your own chips. Look at that. That'll make some nice wood chips to put on the smoker with the right kind of wood chips you know what i'm saying so that is my final review hope you guys like the review and uh you know don't forget to comment subscribe if you like the video you know if you didn't like the video i ain't mad that you everybody got their own preferences but you know i try to do a little bit of everything to try to help people out because you know a lot, a lot of i know it's a lot of stuff on the internet that you can go search up but me i like to do full depth of stuff i like to be in full depth like i'm talking about from the screws to everything i like to give full depth so like i said give me that thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more um, and i appreciate y'all watching thank and you make plenty of money this week hope you stay blessed and stay safe signing out y'all